Pasko and uh, thank you for reading. The Manny Pacquiao, the gold, uh, I don't think there will be a problem for that. And he's very, very funny. And every once in a while, even Michael also becomes a little bit more. And that's the opening bell for Round by Round, presented by Eastern Communications. Mabuhay Pilipinas! Mabuhay World! I'm Boya Cesar. And ako naman, si Dennis Prisme. Later on, makakasama rin po natin sa isa po sa ating mga segments, Nick Lisi Ikasyano. Let's now go to our first segment. Ito po ang ating four-rounder. Dennis! Yes, and uh, we saw no, si uh, Mark Magnifico Magsayo na makascore ng isang impressive uh, victory against uh, former world champion Julio Sea. That was a WBC world title eliminator at ang current champion of featherweight division ay si Gary Russell Jr. Pero huwag kayong magugulat kung makonsider rin po ang IBF championship which is currently vacant. And bakit ko nabanggit yan? Because chances are Ano, eh, yun ang ipursu ng team Magsayo because being under MV Promotions and being under Sean Gibbons na kilala as someone who is very close to the IBF baka hindi lang WBC, malamang IBF Championship ang next na targetin ni Mark Magnifico Magsayo Second news natin mga kabigan, the World Boxing Association uh, Championships Committee ay uh, nagdesisyon na i-withdraw ang uh, mga interim championship titles approved so far in the light of the resolution to eliminate all the interim champions. Pero, mga kaibigan, they will be approved as elimination fights. Ngayon, ang WBA uh, Championship Committee ay pag-aaralan pa ang uh, case-to-case sa kailangan pag-aaral kung sino sa mga interim champion ang uh, mabibigyan ng pagkakataon to fight the, the actual champs. Ibig sabihin po yan mga kaibigan na ipag-aaralan nila di wala na yung mga interim champions sa ngayon pero pag-aaralan nila ngayon on a case-to-case basis kung sino po ang kakalabanin ng mga in, uh, ng mga actual di ba? Actual na mga champion. There seems to be no stopping itong upcoming fight ni Terrence Crawford against Sean Porter. And uh, kahit na po nagkaroon ng uh, problema with uh, negotiations, ang World Boxing Organization ay magsasagawa po ng uh, first bidding between the two camps. And that will happen September 2. Ang maganda po rito, it will be via live streaming. Ano? At ang uh, maganda wow. rito, no? via Facebook. Maganda rito, isa makikita po natin. Ano? Uh, actual na, ano ba ang nangyayari sa mga first Biddings. Usually, sanay po tayo na nababalta na lang natin na si ganito over this uh, camp ano, sa kanilang uh, first bid. But this time, we'll have an idea kung ano po ang uh, nangyayari actual inside a uh, first uh, bidding. A minimum allowable bid limit of $200,000 is in place. At uh, pag-uusapan nila kung paano nila paghahatian ang nasabi nga premyo. Depende sa magiging resulta ng kanilang first bid. Terence Crawford against Sean Porter. Sa ating uling uh, news item mga kaibigan, uh, natatnaan nyo nung uh, nakaraang laban uh, which uh, headlined uh, Jordanes Ugas at si Manny Pacquiao. Itong si Robert Guerrero ay ngayon ay uh, sabi niya eh, I am ready to step up and fight anyone they put in front of me. Ngayon mga kaibigan, ito si uh, Robert Guerrero nung pumasok siya dito sa laban niya against the uh, vicious Victor Ortiz ay hindi masyadong napaparoon ng mga odds makers, ika nga. Pero uh, napakagandang resulta para sa kanya in spite of the fact that uh, he has been uh, a bit inactive uh, for a while pero nanalo pa rin. Silang dalawa ni uh, Victor Ortiz ay uh, nagbakbakan ng uh, todo-todo pero ang nanaig mga kaibigan ay si Robert the Ghost Guerrero. At ito nga mga kaibigan ngayon, ay eh, ito si Robert the Ghost Guerrero ay ngayon eh, sa mga sabi-sabi, no? Eh, uh, kinukonsidera na daw ngayon na baka, baka, malaking baka na iha-iilatag na isa sa mga ikukonsidera 
na makalaban kung sakali ni Manny Pacquiao for a swan song, ika nga, for the last fight of Manny, kung yun nga ang mangyayari. Pero sabi nga ni uh, Robert Guerrero after his fight with the vicious uh, Victor Ortiz, sabi niya, it felt good to be back in the ring with fans and uh, he uh, definitely felt off the energy of the stadium, of the arena, as well as everybody that was there in the stadium. Sabi niya, uh, he knew that it was going to be an all-art war. Sabi niya, ito si Victor Ortiz eh, brought out the best of him uh, on that particular uh, fight. It was back and forth. But, <laughs> sabi niya, I came out on top as I predicted. Talk about confidence. <laughs> At yun mga kaibigan, ang ating four-rounder! Okay, mga kaibigan, now we go to uh, one of the, uh, another segment of uh, Round by Round. Uh, Pustahan, mga kaibigan, ay uh, pag-usapan namin ni Kasama Dennis. Isa sa mga uh, importanting uh, paksa uh, sa larangan ng boxing, lalo-lalo na sa katatapos lamang po na uh, Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Ang kampanya po ng ating mga boksingero sa nakaraang Olimpiada. Apat po ng boksingero ang ating pinadala doon. Uh, nandyan po si Yubia Marshall, si Carlo Paalam, si Nesty Pitesho at si Irish Magdo. Sa kasali ang palad, si Irish Magdo mga kaibigan ay hindi umabot sa medal round at sa kanyang pangalawang laban ay uh, hindi na po siya nag-progress. But our other boxers, namely uh, Nesty Pitesho and Carlo Paalam, were able to get silver medals. And uh, yung taong uh, uh, supposedly eh, napipintong at uh, napipintong uh, supposedly eh, baka manalo ng gold medal before the Olympics began. Yun ang uh, pag-uusap eh, no? na itong box na ito ang baka makuha ng gold medal ang siyang ang nakakuha ng bronze medal. Dennis, matanong kita no, to begin our conversation. Uh, how was the... Kumaga, the Olympics were, step, were put back by a year no? and that gave our fighters all the more training time but uh, was that Uh, really uh, enough kung walang delay sa Olympics eh nako nga ba natin itong mga medalya natin handa ba talaga sila going into to- the Tokyo Olympics well the delay uh, hindi naman natin masabi na tayo lang ano uh, the entire world no? all all participants ay karon ng uh, delay no but uh, the thing is uh, yung iba mga countries eh nagkaroon ng discovery during the pandemic uh, actually all Uh, but one of the uh, eight gold medalists no, na, ng uh, boxing sa Olympics ay nagkaroon ng international exposures, uh, tournaments, and uh, trainings. Ano, except one, yung uh, Brazil. Ano, yung uh, nag-gold medal dun sa division ni Yumir Marshall. Ano. Sa kababaihan, all but one of the five uh, divisions nagkaroon din ng uh, overseas exposure na We're not blaming um, uh, ABAP no na hindi sila gumawa ng uh, uh, kumbaga hindi naman sa hindi gumawa ng paraan but hindi naging part of their plans ano uh, na mag-campaign abroad because we're in a pandemic ano you can blame mm-hmm. anyone Tama yan. if the decision is to stay home ano mm-hmm. but hindi yung mga what if sir what if kung nagkaroon tayo ng international exposure no we na meron there were several uh, international Uh, tournaments ano, na sinalihan ng maraming countries. For one, in India, they had seven tournaments ano, uh, outside of uh, India na uh, sinalihan. No? So, um, sayang, but um, nangyari na yan. Ano? Um, isa pang maganda rito, uh, Papa B, ano? yung takeaway dito sa Olympics is that walang iba, ibig sabihin, walang controversial, questionable scoring na nangyari. If you notice, karamihan ng mga uh, athletes dito, karamihan ng mga boxers were kontento um, no sa mga naging uh, resulta no? because they felt na talagang uh, kung meron mga mga pagkakamali it was more of a honest mistake rather than yung mga dati no yung ginagawa na glaring eh dati glaring eh oh exactly nagkakaroon talaga ng dayaan remember no 2016 yung si Mike Conley ba yun uh, yung isang British fighter na nag dirty finger ano sa mga judges so oh. probably doon na puno yung ano Uh, IOC, International Olympic Committee kaya sinabi na kami na muna so I thought that uh, it was our best chance no, in Tokyo no, to win 
Mm-hmm. An Olympic gold, but two silver medals and one bronze medal, not bad at all. Matanong kita, no? now that uh, we were uh, modestly uh, successful as far as this uh, to- to Tokyo 2020 campaign is concerned, and to, to, take, into, uh, to take into consideration that ang, ang Philippines naman as a boxing power has always been un, has always been in the radar of all the other countries. Eh, Hindi naman tayo nawawala sa radar eh. Pero now that uh, two silvers and uh, one bronze uh, for uh, Ymir Maishan, eh, ang mindseting ba natin ngayon, ang mindseting ba natin ngayon, lalong-lalo na pati ang uh, publiko, no? the public is now more aware of what really goes into a preparation uh, not only for an olympics but maybe for each and every international competition of of, of note di ba nasasabihan ng ating mga atleta uh, magbibigay ba ng mas magandang uh, landscape yan moving forward of course of course you know, because uh, all the developments na nangyayari ngayon uh, it is really very encouraging uh, because I'm sure yung mga kabataan natin, yung mga batang boxers natin, yung mga bata pa yung mga yan, no? they know the history of uh, mm-hmm. Filipino boxing, lalo na sa pagkampaign sa so Olympics, even sa Asian Games, Southeast Asian Games. Grabe yung dayan. We've been victims. You know, uh, for one, no? yun na naman ang issue eh, no? sa boxing, mm-hmm. yung mm-hmm. scoring. No? Mm-hmm. Kailangan na, we don't need to corrupt people, we don't need to bribe people, uh, mm-hmm. we don't need to campaign for our mm-hmm. uh, 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 fighters, you know, to 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 uh, give us some favors. No? Simple lang kailangan natin eh. No? Fair judging, fair scoring. Mm-hmm. For sure, mm-hmm. it would be easy for us. Ano? Kung kinatatakutan natin yung Cuba, ganun din tayo katakutan. Kung ganun natin kinatatakutan yung Cuba, ganun din ang tingin sa atin. No, ng uh, lahat ng mga bansa because they know no, na talagang uh, we're capable of winning gold medals not just medals in professional uh, boxing we've had uh, 70 uh, 80 world boxing champions isang gold exactly, band, hindi exactly. Uh, madami na madami na so, as far as the professional uh, boxing world is concerned I mean you know hindi naman tayo napapagulihan dun eh dahil ang dami-dami na natin naging uh, uh, matingkad na mga kampyon. Uh, pero sa pagdating sa amateur, dahil nga nasabi mo eh madalas sa hindi, no? madalas sa hindi, eh uh, natitwist o namamaniobra <laughs> yung mga resulta. Pero no, let, 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 let me now ask you this, ano? Uh, just to uh, give a better perspective as, as to how uh, the future looks no? for, 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 uh, for us as a boxing country uh, uh, moving forward. Anong, an, sa ngayon, ano? ngayon from, from now till, let's say, the Southeast Asian Games, Asian Games, and the 2024 uh, Paris uh, Olympics, which is less than uh, three years na lang ngayon, no? kung, kung tutuusin, no hindi na four years eh dahil yun nga nakain na yung pang-apat na taon nitong pandemya uh, sa tingin mo ano ano ang ano ano ang mga dapat nating i-look forward ano mga dapat nating gawin not only as a uh, boxing country but uh, for for our officials and our athletes to to be more conscious of moving forward well, for our boxers, uh, kasamang boyet, uh, specifically, siguro, titignan natin uh, in the overall scheme of things, ano, yung leadership and coaching, um, we should uh, pick up from where we left off. Ano? Olympics ang dapat uh, jump off point natin, papunta ng Paris. Okay? Hindi dapat tapos na tayo Olympics, tapos na yan, back to square one, uh, mag, mag Bakasyon ba yun? No. Uh, alam mo, while it is understandable that our boxers right now, our, our uh, Olympic uh, medalists, no, are getting invitations uh, left and right. No? Okay yeah. lang yan. But there has to be enjoying the fruits of their labor, Ika nga. Diba? Enjoying the uh, fruits of their labor and enjoying all the, at- the, the, the platitudes and rewards of their hard work. You know, yeah, they deserve that. But, yes, you know, they definitely dapat, dito, dapat dito, 
uh, may hangganan ano and we're not being uh, rude to them ano because let's face it we still have an unfinished business as far as boxing mm-hmm. is concerned so you know one gold medal ano sinasabi nga natin na no, no olympics but you know we were on cloud nine ano at mahirap pag-usapan yung mga mistakes na nangyari or kakulangan ano so now that medyo nagda-die down na yung um euphoria yung, yung nga. euphoria okay uh, so let's go back to reality di ba we have yet to win a gold sa boxing it's good meron tayo Heidi Del Diaz ano mm-hmm. it's an unfinished business and we, when you say unfinished business we're in the middle of uh, a program dapat ang ang trato natin hindi uh, tayo mag uh, hindi tayo titigil sa Tokyo we have to move on continue and uh, you know, balik tayo, pagiging disiplina and uh, let, let's uh, try to get back the hunger. Ano? And and it's very clear that we have uh, uh, three medalists na pwedeng-pwede pa sa Paris Olympics. So, you know, dapat uh, ano pa rin tayo, uh, tuloy-tuloy pa rin. And, uh, you know, sa akin, dapat magkaroon na ng time na uh, medyo tapusin na muna natin itong pag ng mga boxers and let's look forward and let's... Uh, uh, restart everything. Actually, ituloy na natin, you know? Dire direction na to, papunta ng Paris Games. And now, mga kaibigan, let's now go to our Eastern Communications Fearless Forecast kung saan uh, pag-usapan namin ni uh, Kasama Dennis ang uh, nabibintong laban between Kazuto, Ioka, and Francisco Rodriguez. Itong si Kazuto, Kazuto Ioka uh, has a record of 26-2. And then ito si uh, Francisco Rodriguez Jr. of Mexico I made 34-4 and 1 na record. Ang paglalabanan ay ang WBO Super Flyweight title. Magaganap po ito sa September 1st, 2021 at magaganap ito sa Ota City Gymnasium in Tokyo. Kasuko Iyoka, the reigning WBO Super Flyweight champion at 32 years old will uh, be battling a former IBF and WBO mini flyweight champion. Dennis, ano nararamdaman mo dito? Well, Kazuto is, Ioka is the uh, prohibitive favorite dito sa laban na to because talaga namang uh, nag improve yung kanyang uh, skill no, and performance so for every title defense. You know, this is going to be his uh, third title defense since winning the vacant crown uh, by beating uh, Filipino Aston Palikte, nagkaroon ng uh, uh, successful uh, initial defense. Second defense was a very impressive one no, uh, against uh, a, an unbeaten uh, Japanese uh, superstar. No? So talagang uh, all eyes are on him, mataas ang expectations. But I like the chances of Francisco Rodriguez Jr., a huge underdog in this uh, fight. But he's been on a roll. He's had 12, 13 straight uh, victories since 2015. Yung kanyang huling talo was uh, against a former world champion, si Moises Fuentes. But uh, nakita ko yung lineup, yung ladder niya papunta rito uh, into becoming a challenger of uh, Kazuto Iyoka. And I was impressed and I really feel. And my fearless forecast is that the WBO Super Flyweight uh, Championship will return to Mexico dala-dala ni Francisco Rodriguez Jr. Ibig sabihin niya, may championship na. May sanda makpakbang tequila! At yan mo mga kaibigan, that is our uh, Eastern Communications Fearless Forecast. Let's now go to our undercard uh, wherein we will be uh, featuring uh, the fight that will uh, take place between uh, Takuma Inoue and Shingo Wake for the uh, OPBF Super Bantamweight title. Dalawang uh, hapon po itong maglalaban mga kaibigan. Uh, isa ay uh, 25 taong gulang. Isa naman is 34 years old. Isang uh, fighter na ngayon eh, medyo uh, gumagawa ng ingay at isa naman eh, veterano. Uh, pero nasa ka dito, uh, Dennis? Ano bang mas mananay dito? The younger or the older? 
Well, while mas konti laban ni uh, Takuma Inoue, no, I think and 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 I feel no na masyado malayo yung kanyang uh, skill right now. Shingo Wake used to be a, a uh, uh, hot prospect no sa Japan. He had uh, a chance to buy for the IBF Super Bantamweight title. Pero yun nga, medyo na kaedad na no marami yung kanyang laban, ano, uh, halos doble compared dito kay Takuma, the younger fighter and the hungrier of the two uh tsaka ano rin lumaban din for the bantamweight uh, championship or do natalo rin ano uh ito mm. yung uh, tinalo ni Nordin Ubali no before lumaban si Ubali kay Nonito Donari Jr mm-hmm. so uh, mukhang maganda pa rin future ni uh, Takuma Inoue and I like his chances dito sa laban na to against Shingo Wake Magbibigay for our next segment uh, narito si Nisi Ikasiano na na magsasalita tungkol sa dalawang uh, manufacturing uh, companies sa Pilipinas who are creating a new market by producing locally made boxing gloves. Thanks, Boyet and Dennis. Everlast, Cleto Reyes, Winning, and Grant are the most recognizable names when it comes to gloves and the sport of boxing. Meanwhile, in Southeast Asia, Thai brands such as Twin Special and Fairtex have been dominating the game since the mid-2000s. Two manufacturers of boxing gloves in the country are looking to change all of that. Tonight on Round by Round, we are joined by Just Lee of Lumaban Combat Sports and Jeline Aquino of Payantog Sports. Just and Jeline, welcome to Round by Round. First of all, can you tell us more about the company? What is Lumaban and its history? It wasn't really my intention to start a, a boxing glove company or anything of the sort. Uh, actually, what ended up happening was uh, I was writing um, a screenplay for a director about uh, uh, two kids from the province who were trying to make it as trainers and fighters in in Manila. Uh, and their last names, I chose Lumaba. And so in the process of writing the film, I don't know, sometimes I just kind of like, I had to switch up and do something else creative. So I, I just drew out this, uh, this logo. And if you can kind of look at it, it's like uh, a farmer riding, you know, there's like the farmer's hat and this is the Carabao's horns. You know, uh, so therein started uh, the brand and the and the choice to to move forward with boxing equipment as a as a way to represent myself uh, to the boxing community here in the Philippines. Ma'am, first of all, can you tell us more about the company? What is Payantog and its history? It started na yung ano. Meron kami friend na marunong siyang magtahi. So actually, parang dati siyang mananahi kung baga. Tapos nagtry sila na nagtatahi sila ng punching bag. So, lagi silang naghihiram ng pera sa amin. So, sabi namin kung pwedeng magtahi sila sa amin, parang mag-put up kami ng business, so kami ang magbibigay ng capital sa kanila. Tapos sila magtatahi. So, pumayag sila. So, doon po nag-start yon Until na nagdagdag na kami ng product namin hanggang, di ba, nag-start kami sa punching bag, nagkaroon kami ng boxing gloves, tapos lahat na nung gamit. Thanks to the popularity of Manny Pacquiao, in the early 2000s, sports shops started to carry good quality gloves from Thailand. But still, there were no local brands available in the market until today. Was this one of the important things you considered as well as inspired you when you established the company? Uh, definitely. I, I definitely felt that there was a hole in the market with regards to uh, locally branded boxing equipment and uh and some of the stuff that i saw uh, out there um trying to break ground as boxing equipment or fight equipment was kind of missing the mark on in regards to like quality and and craftsmanship dahil nga yun nga diba na uso na yung boxing dito sa atin sa pilipinas so kahit sa ibang bansa is kilala yung mga Pilipino na magaling sila sa sports, sa larangan ng boxing. So, naisip ng asawa ko na magtayo ang anong company na kakaiba siya na hindi siya pareho sa ibang company. Kung baga, wala tayong competitor. Tapos, locally made siya. And then, yung pangalan niya is uh, Philippine, Filipino brand talaga siya. Ayaw niya nung English. So, that's why 
Payantog ang ginawa niyang brand. Now, let's talk about the craftsmanship behind each pair of gloves. What makes your brand of own set, the, your, the brand's set of gloves different and unique from other gloves available in the market today? We use the, uh, cowhide. Um, not, a lot of, not a lot of gloves, particularly here in Southeast Asia, are using 100% cowhide. A lot of them are using uh, synthetic uh, or what, what they call hybrid materials. The second is we're not uh, in, injected foam mold. Uh, we're, uh, uh, there's three layers of foam used in, in the glove. So there's uh, foam to protect the hand uh, for the form of the glove and then uh, for the fill. Um, so it's not just one uh, sort of like compartment that's just like injected with foam and, and filled like, like some, some other gloves. So as, as far as uh, what sets us apart, I think not that we're trying to break the ground and, and do anything uh, super high tech, but that we just want to bring uh, classic, good quality uh, to the market uh, that's usable in the professional and in the training scenario. There's definitely like uh, inspirations from both winning and grant. Uh, definitely as far as like colorways went, I thought uh, Sabas, uh, which is a Southern California brand or maybe a Northern California brand. Either way, I thought they did uh, some quite interesting stuff. And then there's uh, another another brand out of Pakistan called Top Boxer um, that started doing uh, quite interesting colorways and, and, and different gimmicky things that I thought uh, could appeal to a custom market here. Uh, so I would say like a... Those aforementioned brands definitely uh, inspire the, uh, the, the craftsmanship, the quality, and the makeup, and also the style and the, and the, the fun, fan friendliness that, that uh, I try to communicate through the designs. Actually, sir, yung, ano, yung pattern namin is distinct doon sa iba. Oh, hindi din siya kaparehos ng ibang brand kasi ang, ang payantog is may sarili siyang identity. Alam din nung mga client natin kung kung baga kahit pagsuot pa lang nung ano nung kamay nila o sa doon sa gloves alam nila nagawang payantog siya kasi iba yung ano iba yung yung hubog niya kung baga yung ibang quality na kung baga kailangan naming uh, sundan sa kanila na kailangan same din yung tibay so yung una is yung kung baga is yung tibay nung nung product yung pagkatahi natin so kailangan kong i-present sa user na para ipapakita ko po. So, for example, ito po yung bagong design namin nung gloves. So, yung tahi namin, sir. So, yung machine namin is galing pa ito actually sa ibang bansa. So, para masunda natin kumbaga yung quality nung tahi, makikita nyo po yung stitches kumbaga. O, so, ibang machine para dito. So, ibang machine din para dito ang ginagamit. So, ano po, para ma-maintain natin yung quality, parehas dun sa ibang product. Pati yung ano nila, pati yung palaman dito sa loob is halos same na rin dun sa kanila. Pero, ano, locally made ito. Can you help us gauge the demand for Filipino made or Filipino brand gloves locally? 70% of my sales have been through pre-sale. Uh, these guys uh, buy in early um, and actually because it takes quite a bit of time, especially with pandemic, I, I only allowed, I, I mean, I, I only asked for half a front and 70% uh, and of my gloves go like that. For me, this is a passion project. Uh, putting out these gloves and, and bringing whatever I can with, with, with whatever I have. Uh, to the table in hopes to to create a brand or a globally recognized brand at that uh, would be uh, you know a, a bonus on the resume and uh, something that uh, you know I would enjoy doing and and being a part of as far as uh, initiating something that's uh, memorable and lasting for the Philippine boxing community. Nung nalaman nila na actually na meron na palang Philippine made na company na gumagawa ng mga ganito. So, very proud yung mga kababayan natin na meron palang mga ano tawag dito, meron palang manufacture dito na tayo mismo gumagawa. So, ang sabi nila, but kailangan nating 
bumili sa ibang bansa na meron na available dito sa atin sa market. Kasi nga mahirap di ba sir magpa-ship sa ibang bansa, kailangan mo magbayad. So dadaan ka ng custom, so maraming maraming requisites, maraming requirements. So dito is kumbaga uh, malapit sa atin. Oo, mas mas madali kumbaga pag order nila is ma-deliver ka agad sa kanila. Ano lahat ng product namin is talagang continuous yung innovation. So pag merong kumbaga is pag merong suggestion yung mga Uh, coach natin na mas maganda pa, na mas ma-innovate at mas mapaganda pa yung product is talagang ginagawa niya, sinusundan niya. Combat sports, not just boxing, is continuously drawing global attention. It, it just entices people to try martial arts. And as a byproduct of that, they will look for gears and equipment. How optimistic are you that someday your brand will sit on the shelf alongside the top combat sports brands in the market today. Dahil po na meron kaming tiwala na talagang maganda ang quality natin at Philippine made ito. So, talagang sure po naman kami na kumbaga is uh, ang ang tawag dito yung mga Pilipino is talagang uh, gusto nilang suportahan ang gawang Pilipino kaya po siguro talagang hanggang ngayon is Kahit mga almost six years na po tayo, andito pa rin tayo sa market. I think uh, our brand will stand apart in a in a in a realm of like uh, custom uh, gear shoppers or or people that want uh, you know well crafted, well made, uh, and 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 low I would say uh, uh, low output uh, stuff that's uh, sort of uh, exclusive in a way. Um, Uh, as for as for the broader market, um, you know, I'm hoping actually that this this business uh, could grow into uh, into the actual market of perhaps maybe uh, grooming fighters. So instead of having a a uh, you know a broader market product that's cheaply made uh, for you know for a different class of people, I would rather like channel that money into developing fighters and providing equipment for them through the sales of, uh, of our custom stuff. Justin, Jeline, thank you for taking the time to be with us here on Round by Round. Back to you, Dennis and Boyet. Maraming salamat, BC, sa inyong napakagandang uh, story. Ah, Ang dami kong natutunan doon. At uh, napakaganda na nakakamangha na ngayon eh, uh, meron na tayong uh, hindi lang isa, kundi dalawa na. ang gumagawa ng boxing gloves dito sa Pilipinas, which means more products, more patrons for the sport of boxing. At yan po mga kaibigan, that is the final bell for today's episode of Round by Round presented by Eastern Communications. I'm Boya Sison. And again, I'm Dennis Prinsman. Siyempre, we are on Facebook Monday to Friday, 6pm and uh, YouTube. Don't forget to uh, like, follow, and share ang aming po mga social media platforms. On the next edition of our show, my uh, partner for today, Dennis Principe, Nisi Icasiano, and Ryan Songalia will be the ones to work the fights for you to end the first week of our show. Catch them on the next edition of Round by Round. All boxing, all Filipino, all the time. See you soon.